There's a lot of buzz surrounding Knives Out, which is Ryan Johnson's most recent flick, and we're going to let you know in our real take whether that movie is worth all the noise. Knives Out is directed by Ryan Johnson, who also directed The Last Jedi and Looper. This film has a star-studded cast, including Daniel Craig, Ana de Armas, and Jamie Lee Curtis, among many others. A lot of other stars. A lot of other stars. <laughs> and this movie is being advertised as a clue-like whodunit mystery mm -hmm. of sorts, right? Yeah. A murder mystery. Christopher Plummer plays this millionaire novelist patriarch, and the whole movie centers around the mystery of what happened with his murder right right and that's not giving anything away we pretty no, much we all know, know that. that and I feel like I left the theater slightly disappointed a little bit mm -hmm. it didn't quite meet my expectations as far as like the mystery aspect of the movie is right. concerned this movie really ends up being something different than what you expect right and when he says disappointed I mean we both enjoyed it to a certain degree I would say that it's a disappointment in the sense that it didn't quite meet our expectations or what we envisioned the film being but but, yeah. but it still had redeeming qualities. For example, uh, it was surprisingly humorous. It was. It was funny. And even though the characters in the film, I felt, were slightly exaggerated, right. I felt that what saved the movie was the funny dialogue. It was. Yeah. It, it, there were some nice one-liners in there. Yeah. I, I, I was laughing. I know we were laughing pretty much throughout the movie. Yeah. But, you know, I was waiting for those twists and turns that pretty much... I don't know, never really came, and I really don't want to like spoil anything. spoil anything here, and it's I feel that this is a movie that is really hard not to spoil. You probably will have a good idea of what's going on early on in the movie, uh, and, 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 too and, much and, of and what ends up happening, I feel like <laughs> it's both expected yet unexpected at the same right. time. It's just that the way that the movie plays out is filled with mystery, mm -hmm. but not really anything that shocking, I guess you could say. That's the perfect way to say it. Yeah. I would say, you know, it, it was a clever way of writing, like you said, a whodunit mystery, but it's not gonna grip you and, and have you constantly, you know, uh, thinking of ideas and then scratching them out in your head. It's just not that type of a, of a movie, right? It's weird because like, it's kind of difficult to not like the movie considering that it has an amazing cast and amazing, it's yeah. well written and it's beautifully shot, but it just left something to be desired. I, I don't know how to explain right. it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, guys, go, go to be entertained, but don't don't expect to be, you know, blown away. Definitely some clever plot points, you know, throughout. I would say the leading actor or actress in the movie mm -hmm. is Ana de Armas, right? Who plays Marta, mm -hmm. the caretaker, I guess well, you could call her. Yes, yeah, caretaker, nurse of you know. Uh, you know the Christopher Plummer character mm -hmm. and then of course all of the other actors are kind of like a combination of his children his grandchildren family spouses, members yeah. spouses etc I think that the cast was very strong yes I think that for me Michael Shannon was definitely a, a standout in the movie I think that he's a very underrated actor but this movie by far I think belongs to Ana de Armas as oh, Marta it absolutely does and yeah. she she does well with playing a restrained role a restrained character and she plays a role where you kind of get a sense that she's being victimized in a sense not not so much literally but she's lost she's trying to find her way in this this whole situation yeah this and, is very much like her yeah. hero's journey in a way you know yeah and she does such a good job of conveying uh th this this fear and this confusion and this illness that she deals yeah, with which i can't give it away <laughs> yeah she definitely requires the more uh, emotional you know, dynamic range to cover. And I was thoroughly impressed with her performance. I mean, this is a woman who I'm surprised she doesn't have more roles because her performance really convinced me of the emotions that her character was feeling throughout the entire movie. Yeah, she really drives this movie. And of course, mm -hmm. Daniel Craig, a lot of people are talking about his performance right. and you you know what? I kind of have mixed feelings about it a okay. little bit. I think that he did really well this is not a role that he usually does, so seeing him do something like this was right. refreshing. Okay. His southern accent, though, it was kind of cool, but a little too exaggerated at times. 
I, th I thought, but but then again, that might also be because I just I just kept seeing him as 007, right? I just I just know. Oh yeah, it's 007. hard to get him out of yeah. that. Yeah. Um, Chris Evans does a really good job of not just looking younger, but he does a really good job of coming across as a prick. And like with any other Ryan Johnson movie, you know, I'm a big fan of Looper. I think that that's his best film thus far. I agree. Uh, Last Jedi, you know, a lot of people complained about it. It went in directions that a lot of us disagreed with, but I overall enjoyed The Last Jedi. I feel more than this movie actually yeah but all of his movies look great like as far as the cinematography right um, and i do want to mention i'm yeah. sorry to cut you off but no, that's fine i'm, I'm gonna forget that's if i don't do say best. it <laughs> <laughs> so with the cinematography i thought that um, it was clever cinematography and i thought it really added to the humor and the editing yep the editing really was 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 clever yes uh, set design set pieces were all really good which i think are important in a whodunit mm -hmm. like this and definitely i think that what's most memorable about this movie in the end at the end of the day is the quirkiness of the characters right. for me exactly and, and the humor they have a scene about a donut and that was pretty funny all right so enough about that let's just go on to the real ratings i feel like we've let's do it talked way too much about this movie that we we're kind of we sure like did lukewarm about it so my rating for this movie is going to be three and a half reels uh is it worth going to the theater probably not but it does have entertainment value like i said it was surprisingly humorous but because it didn't really blow my mind and it wasn't what i was expecting that's what knocked it down for me i uh, really have nothing else to say and i agree with your rating yeah three and a half reels uh yeah, I, I, you said everything. I, I don't have anything else to add. I, I, I really don't. I think that at the end of the day, uh, it's not a movie that I would re-watch. It just didn't click with me. Okay. Well, as always, we do ask you guys, let us know whether or not this movie clicked with you. So comment down below, and we will pick out one lucky commenter to give you guys one of your own Real Screeners t-shirts there. And we love pumping up the Alamo Draft House because it is the best place to watch movies. Absolutely. And don't forget to look us up on social media. Media. We're on Facebook at Real Screeners and Instagram Real.Screeners. And don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell button if you enjoy our reviews. And stay tuned next time for some more real takes on movies. Real Screeners are back! <laughs> well, I don't know how much hype. And this film is being advertised. Advertised? <laughs> advertised. Advertised. <laughs> it's being advertised. And Christopher Plummer plays the patriarch. <laughs> Try saying that fast 10 times. <laughs> and I was really, I was thoroughly, okay. <clears throat> I know, right? <laughs> Let's do this again.